You know, for an itty bitty thing, you got a monster size ego. You really thought I turned my entire life around for you. What? Well, I... You said you were leaving town because of a woman. That's right, a woman, not a girl. Look, let me tell you something, all right? If I ever let you get to me that way, you'd know it. All right, I'm not like Ethan, who can't get his act together enough to see that he's fallen in love with Teresa. I mean, where do you pick up this idea that I'm head over heels for you? Just forget it, okay? All right, forget it. Because I know the truth. You think I got feelings for you because you got feelings for me. Ain't that right, Miss Thing? You must be out of your mind. I would never have feelings for you if you were the last man on Earth. Only you would be conceited enough to think you'd even have a chance with me. Oh, no, no, I think you got it backwards, okay? You're just mad because I found you out. You're the one who's been pining for me. Oh, in your dreams. Oh, I see. So explain to me again how you thought I could be staying in harmony because of you. You said that some woman had changed everything in your life. And I assumed that... You know, never mind. You're just trying to trip me up again so you can laugh at me. No, 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 for real. If you didn't think I was in love with you, there's no way you would have jumped to that conclusion. So Whitney, just tell me how you feel about me. Just say it. So you really want to know what I think about you? I wouldn't have asked if I didn't. Fine. I'll tell you. I think you are the cockiest, most conceited, arrogant, full of yourself, underachiever that I have ever come across. A whole lot of words for somebody you don't give two twigs about. I mean, I must rate something by you. See, that, that is exactly what I'm talking about. You think life is just one big joke. I mean, you have no goals, just way too much attitude. I mean, you obviously think girls are just going to fall all over themselves trying to get next to you? Well, I can't help it if that's been known to happen. Uh, well, if you think I'm one of those girls, then you got another thing coming. I'm not going to stand here and let you insult me. In the no, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. You still haven't told me the real reason why you thought I could be in love with you. Okay. It had to do with something that Teresa told me earlier. But I should have known better than to listen to her. She thinks everyone's in love. Well, Teresa ought to know, right? I mean, hell, I give her props for not letting Ethan's blind spot keep her from going for what she wants. You are not doing Teresa any favors by encouraging her, okay? The fact is, Ethan is going to marry Gwen Hotchkiss. Well, if he does, he'll wish he hadn't. And I told him just as much earlier. Yeah, that's right. I told him he should open up his eyes and see what's right in front of him. Admit that he has feelings for Teresa. Where do you get off putting ideas like that in Ethan's head? No. <sighs> Newsflash, all right? You don't put ideas about who to love inside another person's head, okay? It's either there or it's not there. I merely suggested to Ethan that he take off his shades long enough to see what was right in front of him. The same like I do with you, except I know that you're just too afraid to face up to the fact that you have feelings about me. How many times do I have to tell you, Chad? I'm not fighting any feelings for you. I don't have any. Especially ones that you even want to hear about. Okay. Okay. You win. Case closed. I got work to do if I want to get out of here early. So. Something wrong? So, who is this woman that you're staying in town for? Girlfriend? No. My mom. You found your mother? No. Not yet, but uh, I got a lead. I met this singer at the jazz club downtown. And uh, actually, that's her right there. Crystal, huh? Yeah, yeah. She's just traveling through, but uh, turns out she loaned my name to a friend of hers, a woman, 20 years ago. Wait, wait, I don't get it. All right. A friend of hers came to her and asked her if she could use Crystal's last name and Crystal's father's first name. You're looking at the second, Chad Harris. Wow. Yeah, so I figured that her friend must have wanted the name for her baby. But you're not for sure. No, not yet, but uh, Crystal said she's going to fill me in today. I'm finally going to find out who my real parents are.
so glad you're still here. I've got to talk to you. Can't wait to see you. No way. Excuse us, Chad, but this is girl stuff. Come on. <laughs>